Over 1,000 bikes have been registered in Lethbridge since the Bike Index program was implemented last year. It's simple. It's a sticker, hard to get off. You put this on your bike, they're all serialized with a QR code and everything on it. You put it on your bike, you register it through the Bike Index app or on your phone or your computer. And then what happens is if the bike gets stolen, we can actually get that bike back to you a lot quicker. There's been over $14 million in value in bikes through bikeindex.org that have been recovered back to the people getting their bikes back. 545 bikes were reported stolen to the LPS last year, and 760 bikes were found and recovered by the police in the same year. Stickers on your bike, uh, let's say it gets stolen at 10 o'clock at night, you went for a bike ride, uh, maybe it's in your yard, uh, in your shed even, and it does get stolen. An officer at 2 o'clock in the morning happens to deal with somebody uh, for an unrelated offense, runs that QR code or runs the serial number through the bike, on a police system only, it'll come up with your contact information. So I'm actually able to call you 2 o'clock in the morning, I can say it's, you know, it's Sean Davis, the city police. So I'm actually able to recover these bikes even before the report is stolen many times. The LPS is reminding bike owners to make sure that they are doing everything they can to try to keep their bikes safe. If they want a bike, they're going to get them, don't get me wrong. But the most we can do is have a good bike lock, keep it in area, keep it well lit, um, and just keeping a, an eye on it if you can. You can register your bike online for the program at bikeindex.org. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.